Hi, Brad from WordPressSites.net. I've just written a blog post on how to set up your thesis SEO settings to maximize your SEO. I've included a few screenshots as well. And uh, we'll just have a quick look at the first one. Um, your general settings, you, you can set uh, in your WordPress dashboard, you can set your title and your tagline. Now it, it's quite in, quite important to extend these, not not just put in a very short title and tagline. Um, you want you want it to come up in the search results so it's easily uh, noticeable. And if you have a look at a screenshot here of my Google uh, search engine results, you'll see that I've got an extension out here. And WordPress themselves do this as well. They really extend the title out here so it's a lot more visible and you can include keywords and key phrases in there as well. So that's really important. Obviously, um, owning the domain name with a major keyword in there helps a lot as well. So uh, that's may maybe something you should consider if you don't have a keyword that uh, relates to your, uh, the overall topic of your site in, in your domain name. If you've also got a permalink structure which is SEO friendly as well, and relates to the, the topic and the categories and, and the title and domain, um, it all ties in very well together. So, so that's something to consider as well. I, I use a permalink structure, uh, which is category post name, and I've included that permalink structure on my blog post. But you can see in my in in, in the unique address for this blog post, you know I've got WordPress in my domain name. WordPress SEO is the category. And the post titles are thesis theme SEO, so it's all highly related, and and that's the reason the search engines will rank this quite highly. Now you can decide on whether you want thesis to um, to to automatically set the the title for each blog post or page, or, or you can you can use the home page to carry all the SEO weight, which I prefer to do. Um, Otherwise, you can distribute it over each page, so you can have the home title, uh, the major title of your uh, your site up here. You can have that change for each blog post. You can use the the title of each page or post as as the main title there. So that's something to consider. I, I recommend you keep it for the home page, so your home page builds up the best <coughs> the best SEO. But uh, it, it depends on a lot of other factors as well. Um, the, a huge benefit of using Thesis is that it automatically shows the, the next and previous posts on the bottom of the page. So that means all your all your pages and posts are linked together. So that's excellent for uh, for internal linking, which is a huge factor in on-page SEO, a lot more so than uh, than external links. An example of that's down here, you can see the previous post here and the next post here. So when Google comes to crawl a site, they can go from one post to the next post and, they, and they'll index every single post and page. Whereas if you don't have these links so that your entire site's linked together, you, get, you can miss a fair bit of your... Uh, fair bit of indexing so you'll be able to check with the Google Webmaster Tools whether whether all your page and pages and posts are connected but if you don't have thesis the chances are they may not be unless you've done extensive SEO work on the, on the site yourself. Here's the box for the home page SEO and the thesis SEO settings so it's very easy here you just put the keywords in for your document and for your home page title um, a meta description or just a general description um, try to include something that covers all the categories on your site and there's the home page keywords so you want to make sure you use the correct home page keywords there so it's very easy to set the SEO for, for, uh, for thesis and in my opinion it's the most powerful WordPress uh, framework for SEO on the market just looking at my site stats, which is my, my WordPress analytics, I installed it around here when I was getting 174 hits and it went up a bit and I had a few issues that I had to resolve just getting used to the, the framework. So it was down here for a while, I made a few mistakes, but it shot right up here to 448 and 430 hits per day. So uh, I believe Thesis has uh, been one of the major reasons to do this, as well as uh, an SEO plugin that I'm using as well. So, so there you go, good luck with Thesis.